we're at fabric land i need to get my couch covered i need to get fabric so that i can reupholster the couch get that all done and so i've been putting it off honestly because i've had a really bad experience with a couch in an rv before okay i paid 350 dollars for this job okay i asked for it to be flat and for the foam to be fixed the original material the original everything wasn't even touched the foam isn't fixed at all the lines that i asked to be taken away are still in there he just flattened it out by just laying the material over it like i don't know i just feel hesitant so so yeah i'm at fabric land i'm gonna leave layla in the car for a little bit it's a nice day too bad you can't come in i just feel like they won't like that so yeah let's go look for fabric I have a piece of the flooring and then a piece of the paint so that I can see what works best because it's really hard picking fabric, honestly. I've been to Fabric Land like four times now and yeah, I just drove an hour to a different one because the one that I've been going to has a terrible selection, so. So this is like a vinyl which is nice for many things, but is it gonna be comfortable? Some nice woman helped me. I have two samples, but she convinced me that I should go speak to my upholsterer before I like purchase any fabrics just to know exactly how much I need and like if my upholsterer thinks that these are good enough fabrics yeah so I'm gonna just pop in to see if she's home and available to talk to me and um yeah so let's let's go stop by her place Okay, so this is actually another upholstery place that I've used before um, that was on the way to the other upholstery place that I was thinking about going to. And so I just figured I'd stop in here to see, because he's really good too. All right, so what a nice guy. I wish I wasn't afraid to like ask people if I can film them for the YouTube video because I don't know, I just love being around nice people and I want other people to see them on the internet. <laughs> but okay, so he quoted me at like 800 bucks to do that couch, which is so much more than any quotes I've ever gotten before, like in 2020. I got that couch done for 300 bucks, mind you. He did the worst job I've ever seen in my life, so yeah. But um, yeah, the prices of everything has just gone up so much these days. It's like, geez. So <laughs> I might pay $800 for a freaking couch. Anyway, we're going to the next upholsterer to see what she thinks, what's her quotes. And then we gotta take Layla for a walk because she's been such a good girl. Just driving in. I hope this is okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. I hope it's okay. I just drove in. Okay, so how are you? Good. <laughs> oh my god. What? What? <laughs> you see this? How they attach this? Yeah. This is pain in the ass. Oh shit. We won't be able to do the same. This is this is the biggest problem. Okay, let's see what's the fabric and then after you can unload. Okay, Jelen, this is the right side. Mm -hmm. And this is how you're gonna, for, for the pattern, this is how you're gonna put it. Now you can put next to this is the floor. Okay. Okay, so I'm glad I went to both upholsters. 
Um, but it's $1,200, their quote, to get these couches done. And Peter at the other place is $800 to get it done. And $800 is a better price, but it is kind of absurd for a trailer, you know? Like, do I really want to spend $800 or $1,200 to to make the sofa look better? <laughs> I definitely want the sofa to look better, but I need to maybe think about doing it myself at this point. Because <laughs> that is just too much money. I could deck that place out with solar. I could do so many things with $1,200 on that trailer and just in general with uh, all the other things that I want to get done I could save it <laughs> I just feel like that's too much money so now I think Layla deserves a walk in the woods couch is um just put it back in I can't justify spending 800 to 1200 dollars for this couch it just like doesn't make any sense to me um so I think what I will do eventually after getting it in is get a piece of foam pad to cover the couch to make it more comfy and because the foam is sort of old it needs to be replaced it's it just like not good so get a piece of foam and then cover that piece of foam with a piece of fabric so that it looks cuter and um and that's that's the plan for that but before i can put the couch in actually um i need to do the wainscoting around the whole perimeter of this area my brother actually came in before he left this is um quite a while ago actually that we just randomly decided to try this and uh put the wainscoting in i'll show you so we've got um majority of it all done I just have to put in the remaining pieces I've already split a piece of pine and I, so I just need to cut it to its size and then nail it in and that will be done and then that needs to be painted I have a couple samples on already there um and so yeah that needs to all be installed painted and then I can put the couch in so there's quite a few steps here so I think let's get this boy out of here and uh, get working <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna rain any second. No! You gotta do this fast! <laughs> That looks kind of crazy. Okay, so we're gonna do everything inside because that uh, looks like we're gonna get hit with a storm. So this is fun. Let's do this.
Ta-da. Okay, it's in. Basically, none of the measurements are the same. They're just off slightly. I think it looks fine. I don't think anyone's gonna notice, so done. <laughs> now I have to fill all the holes and then paint. It has been multiple days since I left off here. Before we get started today, I need to tell you that I don't have a tooth right now. It's gone. I have two dental, dental, dental implants here and uh, one of them needs, that one needs extra surgery. So uh, they took it out. So I don't have a tooth. And I wasn't gonna film anything because I'm embarrassed by it, but I can't waste a whole week of of not filming. You know what I'm saying? So please look past it and let's get started. I filled up all the holes. I want to just go ahead and paint it as much as I can get painted with the sample size that I have. And it's not full, so I don't know, we'll see. I've had too much to drink. couch again it's ugly as heck but whatever it's just not really the vibe although the color is like the like accents of beige are pretty similar to the wall it's still very ugly i think what i'm going to do is remove all the cardboard i think it's a good time to do that and um just see how everything is looking so yeah let's get this cardboard off I should probably save it though, just in case. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is exciting. I'm mad about you. Wow. Wow. It's 
been so long. Like when we finished the floor, it was like instantly covered up, you know? So I never really got to like enjoy it. The couch is throwing me off. This corner, I mean this, this area is throwing me off. This whole wall. So yeah, this needs to be tackled. Not bad though. Okay, we're going to Fabricland for the seventh time. We're gonna pick a fabric, we're gonna cover that couch because it's just not sitting right with me. I really don't like it. I think it just like, just, just, just doesn't look good. So yeah, eventually down the line, we'll do a professional job or get something done really good there, but I just can't see myself spending 800 to 1,000 or more dollars on it, um, you know? That $300 job is looking pretty good to me right now, but yeah. Praying for the best here. There's little campers all over it. That's so cute. I don't know. It's so hard to decide. Like there's a lot of beautiful fabrics, but will they look good in the space? Does it matter? I don't know. What if I just cover it in a fuzzy, oh my God, this is actually not even a bad idea in my mind right now. <laughs> just cover it in a fuzzy thing. <gasps> It's so soft. Whoa. Success. 22 freaking dollars. That's a deal. I hope I like it. Realistically, whatever. <laughs> Just get it on there. But yeah, 22 bucks. That's so nice. So let's get to the trailer and we'll put it on and we'll see how it is. So I will I'll get you back over there. Hello. I feel like this is a very boring fabric. But I'm just picky, I guess. Roughly, how's that look? It's better than before. I still need to put a piece of wood here to cover the tank and then put a piece of sort of framing on that side to hold the corner of the couch up. But I'm gonna do that later. It feels nice, fresh fabric. And yeah, 22 bucks, like, can't go wrong. So this is the couch. There's still so much to do, but I'm gonna leave you here. I think I'm happy with how it turned out, kind of.